This is Christian Staples with Art Expos. We've come up with these instructional videos to review what we went over with you as far as taking care of your hot tub and the operation of your hot tub when it was delivered. So if you have any questions, you can use these videos to go back and reference once again and review. So this is actually set up on an Epic Spa, which is a five pump system. The control panel is the same, although it does have the five pump buttons instead of the three. So uh, pump one is what does the heating and the filtering. So anytime that it's calling for heater in its filtration cycle, pump one is going to be running in the low speed. If you press it uh, again, it will go to high speed. And if you press it again, it will go back to either to off or back to the low speed. Pump two, three, four, and five are all single speed pumps. And so it's a simple just press it once to turn it on and press it again to turn it off. Now the pumps will run for 20 minutes and then they'll shut themselves off. So if you're sitting in your tub for a while and everything shuts off, that's exactly what's happened. Now with the light button, each time you press the button and you turn it on and you turn it off, it progresses the lights to the next program. So a program is an individual color or a sequence where it will fade through the colors. So if you press it once, for example, you'll see that the lights turn on to one specific color. You press it again to turn off, and then you'll press it again to turn it back on and it progresses to the next program. So press it off, turn it back on again, and now this is cycling through the different colors. But that's how you change the different colors on the light, is just pressing it off, waiting one second, and then pressing it back on again. So now we're going to go over the settings button. On an Epic series, it's going to be pump number five. If you have up to three pumps, it's still going to be in the same position, but it's going to be just uh, labeled as the, the settings button, right next to the uh, temperature up button. So on an Epic spa, you're going to hold it down for five seconds. On any other spa, you just press it and then and let off. So I'm going to hold this one down for five seconds. And you'll see it comes up with the different settings that are available. It will say set first. The first one uh, on this particular tub is ON. That's ONZEN. You'll also have an O3 if you have the peak ozone system. Now if it goes back to the temperature, we just didn't move through them fast enough. So you just uh, get back into that settings button again. FD stands for filtration duration, and that means that each filtration cycle is going to last for two hours. The next one after that is called filtration frequency, or FF, and that one is the number of times per day that the filtration cycles will turn on. So usually we have those set at FD2 and then FF4. Once you press it again, it's going to start that filtration cycle up again. Next we're going to go over the temperature settings. So with this up and down arrow we can adjust the temperature. So on this screen it, it displays the current temperature and if you press one of the up or down buttons there it will display the set point temperature. So this little icon here says that that's actually the set point temperature. So to change the temperature up you simply just press the up arrow. To change it down you simply press the down arrow until it reaches the desired temperature. So now we're going to show you the different zones on the spa. So depending on how many pumps you have would determine how many zones you have in your spa. So on this particular tub, there's actually five pumps. It's the Epic Series. And so that means that there's five different zones in the spa. So zone one, you'd press the button once. And remember, it's the low speed and the high speed. And then you'd press it again to turn it back off. So let me just show you. We'll go over to this seat. It's going to be zone one. We'll turn it on. And that functions zone number one. Then zone number two. Zone three. Zone four. And then the last zone is zone number five, and that's the uh, big foot jet. Okay, so now we're going to go over the small bear paws. So depending on which tub you have, you're going to have a different number of bear paws. This one is set up with three. The first one is going to operate the water feature. So in this case, it's a waterfall, or you may have water fountains. The next one is going to operate the above the waterline neck jets. And then the third one is going to allow air to go into the jets with the water on pump number one. So to operate these controls, you simply turn them clockwise to turn them off and then turn it on by turning it counterclockwise. And then you'll see that on top of the bear paw it gives you those instructions right on top. So the pillows are actually fully adjustable. So you can just pull it up, you can tilt it back and forth to reach the uh, comfort level for you. And then underneath there's this little button that will give it a release to lower it back down. Otherwise, if you just press down on it, you can also uh, get it to release. 
Okay, now we'll go over the individual jets. Each jet has a control where you can turn it on or off just by rotating this outer ring. So if you're sitting in this seat and you want more pressure to the lower jets, you can actually just turn the upper jets off and then it will redirect the power to the lower jets. If you want all the jets on, you just simply rotate it to turn it back on. I hope you've enjoyed these videos as a review on how to take care of your hot tub and how to operate it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to give us a call at 801-483-1001, send us an email at support at artexposeutah.com, or go to our support webpage at artexposeutah.com support.